Doesn't this look beautiful? Welcome back, Magma Munches. It's your favorite marketable plushie, Magma. There are actually four new shovel enchantments. Yeah, I know. Crazy, right? Enchants for a shovel. Two of the scrolls are rare and two of the scrolls are exotic, with the exotic scrolls just being better versions of the rare scrolls. The first rare scroll is marking and all it does is highlight the area you've dug for five minutes. The other scroll is rich and all it does is give you a 10% chance for any dug up chests to be one tier higher. So a normal chest will become a silver chest, a silver chest will become a gold chest, that kind of thing. And the first exotic enchant is gold sight, which just marks what area you've dug for five minutes, but also gives you a 6% chance for a dug up chest to be one tier higher. And the other scroll is Fortune, and it's just a much better version of the rare scroll Rich, as it gives you a 20% chance for a dug up chest to be one tier higher. For those of you wondering, you get these enchantments by completing treasure charts and opening the chests you get for completing them. Okay, let's apply these scrolls to my shovels. You can see how that gold side golden shovel looks with the enchantment effect around it. It also increases its rarity from uncommon to rare, as obviously it's an exotic scroll. Okay, let's apply the fortune scroll to a shovel. And you can see the same thing happened. It's now a rare scroll and the effects of it actually look pretty cool. Here I'm holding the gold side golden shovel. You can see that it doesn't change the shovel visually. Same with the fortune golden shovel, it looks the exact same as a normal golden shovel. Now, the gold sight shovel is meant to mark the place you've dug for 5 minutes. So as you can see, this whole area has just been highlighted gold. I'll do the same down here. This whole area has been highlighted gold. This effect is actually pretty cool as it actually reveals that the way these islands are structured are in these short clusters or little chunks. It's kind of funny as it just looks like I'm walking down a piss stream. Now the fortune shovel, I can only show you how it works by actually digging up chests from a treasure chart. So to demonstrate that I will be completing this exotic treasure chart. A quick tip for those of you trying to complete treasure charts, just align your compass on the bottom left side of your map with the actual title of the place. So as you can see, West is at the beginning of the Forest of Chernano and E is at the end of it. And by using that, you can then figure out where you need to be for your treasure chart. This chart is telling me to go to the north northwest edge of the Forest of Chernano. And as you can see from my yellow dots, I am right exactly there. So a strategy to solve charts using these exotic chests will be to use the gold sight shovel to actually figure out where it is. And then once you found it, swap to your fortune golden shovel so you can then actually get a better chance at increasing the rarity of the chests you get. And it looks like Every single chest I dug up with my fortune golden shovel was a golden chest. Isn't this just satisfying? So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to these new shovel enchants. One of them just makes it easier to figure out where your treasure is placed and the other one increases the chance of the treasure chests actually being good. That's going to be all for this video. Make sure to like, share, comment and subscribe. Have a great rest of your day my fellow Magma Munchers. Renew.